Hey everyone, Shriek here. Today's question came from Mel. They were looking to create some AI on their enemies for a platform game to allow them to walk back and forth without falling off the edge. I have two different setups. One where the character bumps into the edge and turns around. Another one where the character bounces off their exclamation marks. And then I also added in a Mario character that can interact with the bad guys. Nothing crazy, and we'll take a look at how that all works. Alright, I have four key players. One is going to be the platforms, and they are sitting on solid behavior. This is just what our characters will interact with. If I'm not on that, we will fall forever and die. But the clouds and the stems here are in the background. They don't affect the characters at all. And then the other three big players are my platformers, and that consists of the Roadblock, the Goomba, and the Mario. We have two different sets of them, the Goomba's and the Roadblock's are set as platform with default controls unchecked. And this means that they will not react when I hit the keys that are built into platform. So when I hit the right key, they will not move. Our Mario character on the other hand has default controls clicked, which means I can control Mario with left, up, and right keys. Additionally, the roadblock is set to solid, and that just means the other characters can't simply walk through it or behind it. They will stop walking. All right, looking at the code, we're going to start off with two and three first. We have Goofa is right versus Goofa is not right. And that's just a boolean that is set under the Goofa. And we will control this to decide what way the Goofa is going to walk. So essentially, if he's right, we're going to simulate that we are pressing the right key. And that would be the same as if we were holding down the right arrow key. Then we're also going to set the Goomba to not mirrored, and this just means he's going to be facing the way he started out facing when I drew him. Then Goomba is not right. It will simulate us pressing the left key, so walk the Goomba left. And then it will also set it to mirrored, which means it will be facing the opposite way. Doesn't really change my image much, but in our image we have an image point. My image point is right there in the corner. And when I mirror this, it's gonna move the image point over here. And that is important because at the start of the layout, I pin this tracker to image point one, which is the image point on my Goomba. And it is on every animation. And when I flip this and it moves to the other side, it's gonna put that tracker on the other side. Now I will play a small clip here and I will set the tracker back to visible and you'll be able to see this is what is actually deciding when the Goomba should turn and it just stays pinned on that location if it senses essentially something that needs to make the Goomba turn I will flip it and then it will start resensing for that location and walk until it has to turn again and that is done with this condition right here now if you have the purchased edition you can make families and you can put everything that you want to toggle your bullion with into one family so I could put the platforms and the roadblock together in a family and then I wouldn't have to place these under each other but if you don't have it you can just put as many as you want on this left side uh, one thing to note though this is an or block that means I right clicked on the far left side here not on an individual one and clicked make or block and you can tell it's an or block because it has the or written right there. So if either this or that is happening, then we will toggle his boolean, which means switch between left and right, or switch between right true and right false. And what each one says is if the tracker is overlapping the platform inverted, so not overlapping, or if it is overlapping the roadblock, so either if it's no longer hitting the platform or if it bumps into the roadblock, we're just going to switch the position. So they will walk back and forth. And if either of these two things are in its path, it will trigger a switch. Mario has some extra little code here. Essentially, we just want to throw down a collision check for the Goomba. And if that collision check happens and we are currently falling, we'll get a vector bump of negative 800, and that just means we'll pop upwards. Any other way, we are going to run this overcomplicated little knockback that I have 
So it's going to set our animation to hit, which is just a whited out animation. And just shows the user that something bad happened. And then we take away the controls from the user and we set max speed to 800, which allows us to move the X a little better with vector bumps. And then we bump them up a little bit and to the left. We wait 0.15 seconds. Uh, we don't want to steal control from the user for too long. And then we set everything back to its normal conditions and we set them back to his normal animation. So that'll just cause that little bump back and I'll show you here. So we hit them and it bumps you back, bumps you back. So it knocks you off the edge. Hopefully that gives you some ideas for your platformer. Let me know in the comments if it helps. Y'all have a great day. Bye.